Hi everyone. I recently made a video on the Teresa Cullen stamp maker. I went through the process of making a stamp and I had a request. Um, somebody wanted to know how I went through and made, did the process of making the negative. So today I'm going to do a tutorial on uh, how I did that. I use a simple inkjet printer and um, Photoshop Elements. And I know that the kit came with a CD that has a program on it that shows, uh, that can convert your photo to a negative, but because I run a Mac, it's not compatible with that. So um, I'm using Photoshop. So here is what I need to do. I need to come up to File, and I need a new blank file. And that file is going to be, my workspace is going to be two and a half by four. That is the work area that they give you. Um, that is so that it fits in here, in the, in, within this little window. So here's my workspace. And I'm going to go ahead and run my artwork. This is the same artwork that I used to make the stamp. I just wanted to show you. I already have this stamp, but just wanted to show you how I came about. I want to make this as big as I can get it. Now, I know that it asked for, um, for you to leave at least half an inch around the sides, but what I'm going to do is I want to get it as big as I possibly can. Then I'm going to come over here and I want to simplify and merge. So here it is, my, my backdrop or my background. Okay, I'm going to come up to enhance and I want to convert this to a black and white photo. On my Photoshop, it has different um, styles, and I'm going to hit the infrared because it gives me more of a contrast. I'm going to come back up to the Enhance button, and I want to adjust my lighting, and then hit Brightness and Contrast. I'm going to pull my contrast all the way over to 100%, and then I am going to hit my brightness and I'm probably going to go about 89%. I don't want to take too much of this detail away from here, so we're just going to do 89% I think looks good. Now in order for me to get this area all cleaned up around the edges right here, I'm going to go and use my eraser tool. You can also make stamps with some of your uh, Photoshop brushes, um, which works out really good. I would have done one of those, but I wanted you to see how um, I did it with color, how I took the color out of the stamp. So I'm cleaning up all around, and you don't have to clean up too much because when you convert this, it kind of helps just a little bit. I know the darker areas are what you want to clean up. Make sure you clean up really good. So here we go. It's nice and clean. Now I am going to minimize this and I want to make another file. This file, I want it to be three and a half by four and a half. And I want it to be black. So there it is, it's black. Okay, so here is my artwork again. Now I wanna turn this into a negative. So for me to do that, I'm gonna hit select all. and go to layer, new adjustment layer, 
and then invert. It's going to ask me if I want to name it. I don't. I'm just going to hit it. So there it is. That is my negative. Now I want to come over here and I want to merge these down so that my background is the negative. Okay. Now I want to select all and I'm going to come up to edit and I want to copy this. I'm going to minimize. Here I have the three and a half by four and a half black space. I'm going to come up to edit and I want to paste. So there is my negative and here you see that I have a more than half an inch around my workspace. Okay. So now it's time to print. And I'm going to print this on just a regular sheet of paper because I don't want to um, use up my film. But what I did do is I cut my film into three and a half by four sections. So I would cut this film into three and a half by four and stick it into my printer. It, I find that it um, saves me a lot of film if I do it this way, just cut it up because that's going to be the biggest I can get my stamp. So I'm going to need to do a page setup. And I already have a page set up and I named it stamp, but I'm going to show you what I did to get that. Um, I want to manage a custom size. And right in here, I'll hit the plus button and then I'll title it whatever I want it to be. And then come over here and type in um, the three and a half by four and a half. And I went zero on all of these right here on the uh, non-print area because I want it to completely cover everything or as much as it possibly can. Okay, so I'm going to hit cancel just because I already have it. So when you already pre-program your uh, custom size, it'll be right in here and it'll say stamp because I named it stamp. So there it is. I hit OK and now you can see there's no white around there. That is what it's going to print up. So let me print it. And here we go. So I am running out of ink, I think. And you want to get this as dark as you can possibly get it, but I am running out of ink. But here is my printed piece. So when you get it on your film, it's going to look just like this. All right. And then let me show you how it fits into the box. So here it is. You want to make sure that all of around this area, the open space is black because you don't want that um, goop or whatever it is to harden there. So the only thing that's going to harden is the white areas. Okay. And then you stick your little packet behind here, you close it up, and you stick it in your stamp maker. It's easy. So um, your possibilities are endless. I do want to try and do a, a picture of one of my kids and hope that um, it'll turn out. So once I get that done, I'll show you how to do that. So thanks for watching.